in this session we are going to discuss segmentation so we have completed paging now we are going for the segmentation the basic difference between segmentation and paging is that in case of paging i had equisize partitions but in case of page segmentation we will be having unequal sized partitions that means the program will be divided not into equisize fragments but depending upon the module size so as different modules which is there in my program will have different sizes so i shall be loading my program segment wise module wise and where different modules may have will have rather uh, unequal sizes and that is the basic difference between paging and segmentation before discussing about the advantages of segmentation let me discuss two or three disadvantages of paging let us suppose we are having a page size of 2048 bytes a page size will be of 2048 bytes so two page will can contain how much of data that is 4096 bytes now what will happen let us suppose that is a particular um, that is a particular program whose size is 409 uh, i am tell, telling 4090 bytes here page size is 2048 bytes so two pages can hold 4096 bytes that is a particular program that is a particular process going to be loaded onto the computer's memory which is having 4090 bytes so what will happen last six bytes will remain vacant in the respective frame but that will not be the trace will not be there in the page map table so there will be a free memory space in the computer's memory but no trace will be there in the page map table this is known as internal fragmentation other is just consider page size is this one and one process let it be p1 say another process p2 is having got a size of say 3000 bytes then what will happen so 4208 bytes will be there in the page 1 in the page 2 so many bytes of free spaces will be there but i am having no option because i shall have to allocate page size wise or frame size wise i am not having any other option so so many bytes of free spaces will be there in the respective frame where this particular page has got loaded the second page has got loaded i think you are getting my issue so 2048 bytes for the frame number or the page uh, page size or the frame size but my process size is this one so the first page will be completely filled up with 2048 bytes but in the second page it will be having 9 952 bytes of free space will be there but in the page map table it will be written that it is completely okay okay so that will be that will be occurring here okay now see so i'm just telling in this way 2048 so 2048 will be occupied and then 2048 will be subtracted from here i'm getting here 52 i'm getting here 9 so 952 bytes will be loaded in the second page so how much free spaces will be there in the respective page that will be huge so it will be 6 this is my 9 and this is my 10 so 1096 bytes of free space there in the second page this is a page 1 let it be let it be the page 2 so that amount of space will remain vacant in the page 2 but in the page map table i shall write that two frames have got allocated so that is the main disadvantage in case of paging so to solve this problem we are going to introduce this one that is our segmentation how does segmentation work let me discuss that one right now now in case of segmentation let us suppose that is the program the program has got five segments segment 0 to segment 4 containing procedures containing the main program body con containing another procedure procedure 2 containing the library function body containing the occupying the stack so these are the different segments are there in a program and the respective segments the limit and the base address have got mentioned what is the limit that is the segment size and what is the base address from where it has to be loaded in the computer's memory so let me show you the memory map here
let me show you the memory map so that is my physical memory that is my physical memory okay now see what is the minimum address here minimum address is 1500 so base will be 1500 so 1500 will be the base and limit will be 1500 so that means up to 3000 segment number 0 will get loaded i think you are getting my issue base address is 15 1500 and limit that is the size is 1500 so that's why from 1500 to 3000 segment number 0 will be there in the main memory okay now what is the next address i think this one so it has got loaded so i shall go for this that is 3200 so the it is a free space or other programs might be existing okay now so it will be starting from 3200 so 200 bytes of free space here and it is having a limit of 1100 so it will be terminated at 4300 which one that is a segment 3 that is a segment 3 okay what is the next address that is 4300 so i am taking this one so 4300 400 and that is for that is for segment number 2 so segment number 2 will be there 400 is the limit so it will get end at 4700 i think you are getting this one so 15 1500 to 3000 that is 1500 is the limit for segment number 0 it will be starting from 3200 and then it is having a size of this so it will get terminated here but that is the starting address of segment number 2 with the size of 400 so it will get terminated as at 4700 and then i shall go for which one um, 4700 4700 is this one so i shall go for segment 4 i shall go for segment 4 and it is having a size of 1200 so 5900 will be the size for segment number 4 so what is remaining remaining is segment number 1 so segment number 1 so there will be some free space here in between so segment number 1 will be starting at 6300 so segment number 0 1 2 3 4 all of them have got loaded rest part will be the free space segment number 1 is having a size of 500 so 6800 at this location it will get terminated so in this way this is the segmentation table or segment table this is the segment table and this is the memory map i have shown you that how this segment table is holding data and how the memory map is taking place so if problem comes in this particular from this particular concept you should have to answer accordingly so segment table is having two columns segment table is having two columns what is the column that is one is the limit limit means what size of the segment what is the other one base means what means the starting address of the segment in the computer's memory so it will be coming like this so let me show you the required hardware so cpu will produce a logical address so this is my logical address so this logical address has got two sections one seg section is the segment number other the six other section is known as, known as the displacement so this segment number depending upon the segment number in the segment table i shall come to the sth location i shall come to the sth location so segment number four i'll be coming to this fourth location and now i shall be accessed i shall access accordingly so it is containing two things one is the limit and another one is the base so from this demonstration it is quite obvious now this base is there and limit is there what is limit limit means size and what is d d means displacement so limit must be greater than displacement let us suppose limit is 400 that means the displacement can range from 0 to 399 so displacement cannot be equal to limit also also not greater than so that's why here we are having less than not less than equal to so this limit is coming and this displacement is coming so th this displacement should be less than limit if it is so yes no trap addressing error that means highest priority non-maskable interrupt is trap 
so operating system is bound to give attention to this emergency if such if this occurs otherwise yes then base address plus this particular displacement will give you the respective physical address and that will be mapped onto the physical memory so in this way the problem is working this segmentation this concept with this particular uh, diagrams and with this particular uh, hardware requirements i have explained this one in the next video we will be coming with the segmentation related numerical problems so try to solve them with me thanks for watching this one